Welcome back to Solo. I mean, um, uh, the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. I've decided that we need to make a change in this series. Instead of standalone episodes where we're kind of just toiling around progressing different things for different reasons, I thought it'd be a little more fun to set a long-term goal. We of course have the end goal of the series, which is to get all of the best gear in the entire game, but we're not gonna get there in no steps. So in this video, right now, I'm gonna introduce the first step. If you look at my stats and my gear, I think the next thing that makes the most sense to go for on a hard crying man, and the thing that I think would be the most fun to do on a slightly underleveled account, is Zuck. Once I've got the Igneous Magic Cape, it's gonna be way easier to output good damage. Beyond all of that though, I think it's gonna be a real challenge on a hard crying man, to do it properly and safely. So, with the goal of Zuck in mind, let's get to work. Previously, in the Hard Cry Iron Man adventure, we've gone extremely dry at Hellware to try and get ourselves a wand and an orb that we can use. I've got an orb so far, but an orb that a wand, not terribly useful. I've also been going with a pretty suboptimal setup. So in this video, why don't we start off by amending that and getting some overloads. Once we've got some overloads, we're gonna try our luck at Hellware, and if we can get a wand, I think I'm ready for a Raxor. Before we get into the next four-part mini-series on this channel, and our next adventure on the Hardcore Iron Man, I need to thank the sponsor of the video and the Road to Zuck, NordVPN. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually invest 100% of all of the sponsorship revenue that I got on this channel back into more videos. And what that means is that they are actually funding this video and the series. In simple terms, what NordVPN does is it puts all of your browsing data in an encrypted tunnel. What this means is that there's a direct connection between your computer and the internet. This makes it impossibly difficult for your internet service provider to steal and sell your data, and it also makes it really hard for a bad actor to see what you're up to. Outside of the security-related reasons why a VPN is very handy to have, the thing that I use it for by far the most is Netflix. In my home country in Canada, we have a very different selection of content that I can watch on Netflix. But if I want to watch something that is only available in the United States, with a click of a button, I can open up more VPN, I can put myself anywhere I want in the States, and just like that, I can go back to watching whatever I want to. If anything I just talked about sounds interesting to you, you can check out NordVPN in the pinned comment or the link in the description down below and use code RSGuy at checkout to get an absolutely massive discount. If you sign up with my code, you also get an additional 30 days free and NordVPN comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. That means if you're not 100% satisfied with your experience using Nord, you can get all of your money back, no questions asked. Once again, thank you very much NordVPN for making this video possible. Now. Let's get back into it. The plan for the day, it is scripted, is we're gonna go dry at hell where it's gonna be really sad, right? What if I told you the only way to not have a terrible time at hell where may very well be to just not go to hell where. The, the, the plan for today is gonna be to get level 85 herb lore by actually training herb lore, do penguins, drop all of my penguin points, and see if we can't just get overloads today. Also off stream, I went 60 to 68 smithing last night, which I actually think is pretty sick. We're getting very, very close to level 70, which is, uh, yeah, which is great. We need 80 obviously for obsidian armor as well as for invention. So either way, a couple really, really big unlocks there as soon as we get level 80. That's kind of what I've been working on off stream. We are now 10 total levels away from proof access. But what I do for smithing training or a calcum gloves or boots, a full invent of them, and I go from zero to one to two to three, and then I burrow all of them. The reason it's really, really sick and it's full AFK is you can get max heat one at a time, right? And then your dude is gonna finish it because it only takes one bar before it runs out of heat. So you're on max XP rates the entire time and it just auto starts the next one. I did eight smithing levels last night in like four hours of AFK time, but I was probably actively playing for less than five minutes. Wait, we're almost 70 agility. Wait, are we gonna get it from trying to get to Herbie Werby? 70 agility, pretty big level coming in. Doesn't actually unlock a whole lot, but we are now nine total levels away from Plague's End and Proof Dennis. Five agility levels, four prayer levels. Dude, the lamp sound is elite. What a great sound. 5k XP, 5k XP, 5k XP, 5k XP. Okay, we gotta finish off this level, which is gonna take like no time at all. And then it is time for probably the biggest XP drop of this account. How many papayas do you guys think we're gonna have at the end of this? Actually, put your guesses in chat from the infinite papaya hack. I'm gonna guess like 300. Okay, that is level 85 herb coming in right there, which means we can make this super war master potion. Finally, what we've always been hunting for. No, what that actually means is first off, 232 papa Bro. Callus, were you counting? That's the kind of thing Callus would do. I 
I'm concerned. Straight up counted every papaya drop. But yeah, that's 85 Herblord done. Really, really sick. Super antifires, obviously, you know, been there, done that. Wait, there's boosted Herbie Ruby XP. We should have done Herbie Ruby after this. That's a bit of an L. But uh, it's time to do penguins and then get a 1.3 million XP drop, which is going to be really sick. So let's, uh, let's go get that done. It's only eight points for a huge lamp and a huge lamp provides 46 KXP. All right, are you ready? Oh, this is gonna be so gross. All right, here we go. That is level 86. And then I need another eight lamps. And that is level 87. And then now I need nine lamps. And that is level 88. <laughs> Penguins are just insane. And... Just like that, we are now 150k from 89 Herblore. <laughs> okay, if I make potions for like an hour, we have overloads. Uh, we should probably just do it, right? Overloads are like the best TV upgrade possible. They really are, and we have, we have nests too. Like, we can straight up make brews. Where do all these strength pots come from? Oh, uh, they came from crows. <laughs> All right, 89 Herblore. We are half a million XP from level 90, which is overloads. I'm so excited. The final stretch. Okay, I have a prediction. I know exactly what's going to happen. By the time I have the super magics, my god banner boost is going to run out. I'm not going to be able to make the extremes. It's going to be awesome. Racing against the clock. And there we go. Extreme magics are being mass produced. So I guess our first batch of overloads, we're going to look to make about 50. That'll be enough. That'll last a while. Okay, Grand Walls, you are not being helpful. Wait, this one's going right in. Bruh. Okay, I'm starting to think I'm in ineligible. I'm definitely ineligible. I need bait. So to bait them, I need to box trap Pyas, right? I think we need to hunt Pyas. Or I could do big game hunter. All right, well, here we are. I can't believe this is what we're doing with our life, but okay, it's working though. Oh, I do lose the bait. Okay, bro, that's pain. You know, we've got lots of papayas. We got papayas and time in a dream. I mean, look, there are worse things we could be doing right now. The things we do to make hell work slightly faster. All right, let's go. Grand wall spikes, more grand wall spikes and pies as well. Okay, this is good. This has been so scuffed. What a completely scuffed affair. That was actually not the worst experience of my life. Okay, so now we take all of our paya meat and our box traps and we go hunt the uh, ground walls. Can you guys stop breaking my traps? 41. Okay, the the one good thing about this, the, the ground wall spike rate seems really, really sick. I've got 80 ground wall spikes. No, this is enough. We're fine. Think I need a higher hunter? Yeah, clearly. It is probably a skill issue. We were 84 this morning, three hours and 47 minutes ago. We've done six Herblore levels in less than four hours. That's 90 Herblore done. Absolutely beautiful. That is overloads unlocked. So now we've got some extremes to make. We've got some torsos to get. And then uh, the next clip is gonna be overloads. This doesn't feel common. Hey, we did it. Is it like the world's best source of torstals? Absolutely not. For right now, is it gonna do the trick? Absolutely. Do I not have the God Banner? God Banner isn't gonna boost me six levels, but you know what will? This spicy stew. Oh, so close, dude. Unlucky, five level boost. You hate to see it, but I guess we'll make our extremes. <laughs> I think Evil Dave is lonely. He wants me to spend more time with him. Hey, you know what? That's fair. I am pretty, pretty fun and awesome to be around. Have been helping you with your rap problem. But, uh, yeah, we're going, we're going dry in three, in two, in one. All right, come on. Yes, let's go. Lobby, 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 right away. We have the Herbler boost. If you're running by a lobby right away, it can instantly drop a level. But if you log out and log in, it resets it for 59 seconds. Let's go. And that is overloads unlocked. Absolutely beautiful. Let's freaking go. I'm so excited. We have to kill something, right? Like, at, at some point, we have to go kill something. We should go to Hellwer, overload up, and still splash the same amount. We can actually make and use brews now. I totally forgot, because brews have been kind of a dead idea. 
I have 400 crush nests and I have 7,000 toad flaxes. So let me make a couple invents of bruise and then we'll go whatever we're gonna kill. We're gonna bring bruise for sure. So my hit chance on Manny was 78% and overloaded it's 90%. Okay, this was worth it. That would make me very happy if this is like noticeably better. I mean, I mean all sources indicate that it should be. Okay, there's the Manny. Ready for the inaugural overload? Delicious. Okay, I appear to be splashing. I'm taking heavy damage. All right, let's see if my hit chance is actually 89%. I think it might be. 5k, 5k, 3k. I'm actually hitting! This is so big. Yeah, no, this is great. Like, I'm splashing, but I'm not splashing, like, an obscene amount. I'm just hitting so much better. I'm not using any food either. Yeah, great first skill. Like, it's actually night and day different. Because you gotta think of it this way. Going from 80% hit chance to 90. It's a 10% increase, but it also means I'm splashing half as much. Goodbye, Heller. That was a great first skill. All right. Look at this hit chance. Dude, this is actually night and day different. This was so worthwhile. All right, Heller, what do you got for me, boss? No! Uh... How have I had nine dormants? That is an unfathomable amount of dormants. Do you guys understand how hard that is to do? No, oh, well, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm still happy and doing well. Holy crap, teleport, teleport, teleport. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. That was a teleport because I'm stunned and I don't have surge because no. I can't believe we got a fourth pair of legs. Like that is just nine dormants and four non dormants is not ideal. But uh, our heroic kills just got a whole lot faster. We've got 587 kill count currently. And we got to keep going. An unfocused reward enhancer. It is so expensive, but uh, we're going to buy that up right now. What that's going to do is for a number of bosses that are part of Morvan's Slayer Challenge, it acts as a second sign of life that stacks with an initial one. So before we do like racks or anything else, which aren't like on our critical, critical path, but it's, it's something that you want to have. Uh, but now... We can't actually do anything with that until we get access to Priff. So uh, as soon as we get to Priff, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be a huge, huge boost for us. 10 million coins spent, and pretty soon here, we're going to have to start elking because I am running low on funds. But if we look at our bank and what we have elkable-wise, I'm pretty sure we have 150 mil elkables. So not a huge deal. 32 beautiful overloads. It's just good. It's just so good. All we need is that Elder Wand, and we're going to be straight up gaming. Off stream, I just finished getting level 70 in the smithing skill. It means we can finally do the Chromium, smithing, smelting, get a better pickaxe. It is finally in line with my mining level. Working our way towards level 80, which is Obsidian Armor and Invention. So obviously really, really big across the board. Um, but yeah, that's an off stream thing. So we're going to get out of here and uh, yeah, get amongst it. Get back to work. Uh, first off, obviously dailies. Bro, this is going to be rude. Bro! That, that was a freaking drive-by. That's so rude. One billion GP bounty. If anyone has information on RSN Cosmic Crisp, I'm buying info. 587 kill count? I'm in pain. The trick to making Rootscape fun is... You have to enjoy the journey. You have to make all of the grinds fun. It can't just be about the I'm throwing. You can't just make it about about like the destination of getting the Fasoa. Like the grind to it has to be fun too. That's 6-9 farming coming in. Not too bad. Just a further reminder that I really need to get player owned farms going. It's so bad. I should be like level 90, 95 right now. Bro, is Heller out of office? Bro, I need you to come back. I'm not done with you yet. Well, I'm lagging. Um, did I win? <laughs> that is level 75 Slayer coming in. Let's freaking go. We can finally fight the Gargolons. I'm 72 smithing now. So we're working our way towards invention, which I think is, is really, really nice. We're getting a couple levels every night. Dude, what if I get my 10th dormant? I just thought about that. Dude, I'd be so upset. I don't think we want that. Yeah, that would that would legitimately make me upset. Hey, that's Nightmare of Magic coming in. Honestly, like, yeah, a little more damage. Hey, I have never said no to more damage. More damage is good. Oh, we can finally put on the Fasoa that we got in the last episode. That is the end of the first time. Extra 50 reaper points. Wait, 76 reaper points? That's actually 
Prime. We absolutely take those. What's the Zuck plugin? Um, there's a plugin that reads your in-game chat at Zuck and tells you like, oh, stand here. Oh, don't die in a fire. Oh, you're bad. It's made by, it's called Igor Presets. It's part of Alt 1. And I got to voice it, which is really cool. So you can literally have me flaming you while you try and learn. I guarantee you, it will improve your learning experience. I want to make a vulgar one. I want to make one where it's like actual flame. Every time you get hit by something, I'm going to be like... What are you cosplaying cash? You do know there's a whole book of defensive abilities, right? You should read it. You're like the evil Lucario of being bad at the game. Have you considered a different MMO? This one requires a small amount of skill. <laughs> it says, read your chat box. Two seconds later, before you have a chance to read it, say, actually, I'm gonna read it for you because you clearly don't know how. <laughs> and then I read it out. Okay, but I'm the best you ever in my height category and my weight class. DPM to weight ratio. I'm doing really, really, really well. Actually, should we find out how much Luca weighs? I think Luca's the same height as me. I just need to know, because if he weighs more than 10% more than me, then I have a better DPM to weight ratio. Can you imagine how satisfying it's going to be? Because like we get a wand here. We literally never have to go back. Like I have 20 components, assuming we get a better wand, which is enough for greater sunshine. It's like we're literally completely done with Hellwer if we get this wand. All right, Hellwer, now would be like a really ideal top. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, separate drop table, separate drop table. It's fine. It's on a separate table, so we don't have to be upset. Hellwer, I am sitting on a total of 657 kills. We are wandless. Quick check of the collection log too, just, you know, so you guys can commiserate. Um, two, two, three, four, two, and two. <laughs> That's a little rough, but hey, we'll get there. We just need to do more Hellwer, obviously. We're also 95 magic. We've got plenty of overloads. It's all good. Imagine we dart KK for Snapdragons. I'm opening that tab. That might be content. I might be open for to, to do that. This is just a really funny way to try and get Snapdragons. I, I just, I find it humorous. I think it's a good idea. Come on, KK. Just give me the snaps. Do it. You won't. This was worth it. Wait, that is actually like, that's kind of worth though. Look at them all. It's funny though, cause we did actually need a way to get sharks for the, um, for Zuck. So we are doing QED because I, I need super restores and Snapdragon seeds would be great. And yeah, it just seems like a good boss for what we need presently. That's the plan. We've got a ring of life. We've got a sign of life. We should be all good here. Did I win? Ooh, ooh, don't Dude, look at all these restores. Wait, and torsals too? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, QBD was the play. We're just gonna keep doing QBD. That's disgusting. These drop tables are so good. Those are not snappy seeds. I'm getting eight restores every kill though. Like this is gross. Man, brought the crypt loop to QBD. Uh, yeah, hello? If you had my history here, that is a royal sight. That's my first video piece. Not bad, not bad. Not hugely helpful probably, but yeah, you never know. Did I win? Bro! Wait, can I do anything with that? Let me think. Wait, wait, if I have the smithing level... No, that's actually a best in slot. Yeah, that's an upgrade. I'm using a tier 50 right now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, we've almost got a whole full log here in 10 kills. But yeah, we have Dragon, Kite Shield, and Vizzy in 11 kill count. What? <laughs> huh? Wait, 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 Bro, these are twice as rare as a wand from Hellwer. Why couldn't we have just done this in Hellwer? <laughs> Kiwini, why are you like this? I freaking hate this boss. I don't need those. I One was kind of cool. Two, I'm wasting my RNG. We should just go to, we should go to Hellwer. I'm doing one more kill. We're going to Hellwer, man. It went well. We didn't get the Snapdragon seeds, but we did get a lot of restores, so I think I've got enough for today. Y'all actually capping. Done. What a beautiful shield. That is 700 kill count. Ha! Oh boy. I feel things about that. How's he been doing? Um, he's doing a little better today. He's still- every day he looks a little better, which is good. He's not perfect, but he's better. Yes! Holy crap! What's my kill count? 709? I'm out of here! Holy crap! Up 
10 full tiers. Tier 85, tier 90 accuracy. I am never gonna splash ever again. Concentrated blast. Get on the bar, dude. I'm pogging. Dude, I'm actually pogging. Two crests, two helmets, three bodies, four legs, two essences, a wand, and two orbs. 709 kill count. Now we lose the elder wand to Rax. All right, team. It's time to go get our inaugural Rax kill. And I would just want the one kill so that we have a nice, easy teleport to the Phasmonite spot because we're trying to get AD smithing for invention. It's 2-3 as well. It's the optimal timing for this. It, it should be really, really safe. So let's grab our Ectophile, run to Rax and get our kill count. And you can teleport out, right? There is no way out other than death or victory. Isn't this a lie? What? That's a lie. Maybe they should, you know, do something about that, maybe? All right, it's track time. Web shield! Oh, I don't have preparation on my bar. Oh, went up. <gasps> it's dark. I can't see. Wait, can I kite? Wait, wait. Fly me. Oh, I can. Wait. Oh, we're big chilling now. I didn't realize you can kite. All right. Well, our first max kill is <laughs> going to be a little easier than expected. <laughs> it's about to step on me. It stepped on me. I'm absolutely cracked. Big Rax kill. Mage Rax kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. If we get a real crossbow, it's way easier to low food or no food kills. But we throw out our luck ring and we collect 14. Wait. Wait. 45 Aventos? Wait. This is my last Adren pot. Dead ass. This is my literal last Adren pot to my name. That's actually ideal. You'd also realize too. Rax is going to be good before Zuck because we can bring Brew Flask to Zuck. Yeah, that's nice, dude. That's a real nice. Great work. Oh, that's a G7 on the window! Stop, 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 stop! I am unwell. Can we phase, please? Holy crap. That was bad. 25k, biggest six. Ready? One. Two. Dude, look at that. It's fixed. We just juiced. That was so sick. Wait, that was such a good last phase, though. Alrighty. Last phase, good. Rest of the boss fight, absolutely freaking terrifying. Um, Let's put our ring of fortune. Grab the loot, but we're done for the day. These, like, I need enemy death and stuff, man. This is rough. Um, 11 brews, though. So we actually now have enough brews for the whole Zuck run. Okay, we are now max. Wait! With one seal to spare? You cannot get more calculated than that. Screw it. All right, we'll go to care pack. 152, not bad. I think we can get a lot faster, but I'll I'll take that. But we're gonna we're gonna go to care. Oh man. All right, we'll try it. I don't like this idea at all. But we'll try a kill. We'll try a kill. Wait, we're juicing the last phase though. The last phase is going really well. All right, first care pack kill done. <laughs> that was awful. 100 Royal Dragon Hide? Wait, the power creep on the drop tables is really funny. Oh, man. Okay. I think I want enemy dead. I think it'll make it a lot safer, but... All right, let's go. <laughs> this is going to be so scuffed. This is good. This is good, good. What? That was so freaking sketchy. I was like, where did the boys go? Yeah, Soggy's a hardcore. Kill the boss, please. Hey, we did it. I got cannonballs. I felt pretty safe, but I don't know if the boys were safe. I feel unsure about the boys. I'm so happy to have this set up. The one, it's just, it's just looking so good. Like the setup is just, it's getting there. Like, I feel like we're actually on pace to get to Zuck on time, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to have to do some testing with lower level setups, but invention, 74 arc, done. We're just straight up gaming.
Thanks so much for watching part one of the road to Zuck on a hard crying man. If you have any feedback for me, the comment section down below is the place for that. Outside of that, feel free to like, sub, all that good stuff if you want to do that. And I will catch you very soon for the next one.